Looking for the perfect beverage that helps speed up your recovery after a workout but also tastes good? You don't want to miss this video. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Mike Wong, physiotherapist from MyPhysiGo. So what beverage am I talking about? Chocolate milk. Who doesn't enjoy the taste of chocolate milk and it'll be a dream come true for some people if they can have chocolate milk every day after exercise. But hold up. In this video, we'll look at the current research into chocolate milk as a solution for post-exercise recovery and how you may be able to incorporate this knowledge into your post-workout routine. Replenishing your body with appropriate nutrition is key after a workout and allows you to bounce back quicker and do it all over again. Chocolate milk can be a good option in a sense because it contains a combination of carbohydrates, protein and fat, as well as water and electrolytes, exactly what your body uses with physical exercise. Research has shown that an ingestion of a solution containing 4 to 1 carbohydrates to protein ratio improves endurance performance over carbohydrates alone. 500 milliliters of chocolate milk can provide 16 grams of protein and around 52 grams of carbohydrates. In addition, milk contains fat and electrolytes such as calcium, sodium and potassium. And depending on where you live, it may also be fortified with vitamin D. When we exercise, our bodies use glycogen and fat for energy. Endurance exercise performance is influenced by the amount of stored glycogen in skeletal muscles. The more stored glycogen, we can exercise harder and for a longer period of time. Our muscles are made up of protein and through exercise, break down and require additional protein intake to build our muscles back up, with the difference between the two determining our net protein balance. A systematic review looking at 12 studies done in 2018 by Amiri et al compared chocolate and milk to other recovery drinks and water and has some interesting finds. Some of these recovery drinks contain different combinations of these macronutrients. Some are carbohydrates replacement only and other fluid replacement drinks that may contain just electrolytes or plain water. The meta-analysis has shown that chocolate and milk has increased the individual's time to exhaustion during strenuous activity. Chocolate milk consumption leads to lower lactate levels compared to water and provides a similar or superior results on recovery indices when compared to other recovery drinks. Drinks that contain carbohydrates and fat may help prevent glycogen depletion, thus decreasing the onset of fatigue and lactate buildup. The combination of these macronutrients in chocolate milk may enhance the buildup of glycogen and energy stores for the body, and performance is better in subsequent bouts of exercise when compared to controlled beverages containing just carbohydrates. In addition, the protein in chocolate milk can help limit protein breakdown in the muscle during exercise while also increasing protein synthesis for muscle building and recovery. Now before you grab that jug of chocolate milk and start chugging guilt-free, keep in mind that these studies focus on highly trained endurance athletes like soccer players, triathletes, cyclists, and runners, so it may not necessarily be applicable to the average Mike or Liz. The study sizes are also relatively small and done on specific populations, so it is very difficult to draw definitive conclusions. More rigorous and larger studies need to be done to help explain chocolate milk on recovery from exercise. So what's the verdict so far? In general, if you do not engage in anything strenuous or endurance exercise and your workout lasts less than one hour, all you need is really some water and a balanced meal afterwards with carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats. Before you scream with excitement chocolate and chug away, have a look at your workout routine. If you've engaged in a strenuous bout of exercise or an elite level athlete who requires a high level of caloric intake, carbohydrates, and protein, ingesting in good quality chocolate milk may be appropriate for you. It is best to ingest between 50 to 75 grams of carbohydrates within the first 30 to 45 minutes after exercise, an additional 1.2 to 1.5 grams of carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight every hour for the next three to four hours. Chocolate milk has quite a bit of sugar compared to other recovery beverages and is often too much if you're just doing some light exercise. Depending on where you get your chocolate milk, it may also have some all sorts of different additives so it may not be wise to drink it on a regular basis. Oh yeah, make sure you can also take lactose or your stomach can feel funny and you may need to visit the bathroom more often. Let me know if you tried chocolate milk as a recovery beverage and whether it has helped you perform better. Push on that thumbs up or thumbs down to tell me if this video is helpful and consider a share or subscribe to our channel to support our work and I will see you next time.